but um, I appreciate the efforts that have been made. And I at least have to show appreciation and express appreciation. I didn't expect to live this long. I grew up in the district of Ulster Spring in southern Trelawney. The son, fifth child of the Baptist minister there, Reverend Joseph Augustus Edwards, and his wife, Citri, with her maiden name of Grant. I left school at the, on the eve of 19 years old and joined the civil service at that same age. I was fortunate. A friend of the family introduced me to somebody, I don't know who, and I was taken on as a temporary clerk. Those days, we were paid in British money, we were a British colony, pounds, shillings, and pence. So I became a government servant. I was in the Collector General's Department, working in the tax office at Halfway Tree, which was not where it is now. And then I was shifted a few years later. Those days you had to sit an exam before you could enter the civil service and attend an interview committee. Somehow I weathered it and became appointed permanently. Among my escapades or transfers or whatever, I would move from Halfway Tree Tax Office to Savannah Lamar Customs and Excess, different field. But I had no choice. I obeyed orders. I was fortunate that I did not spend a long time there. Fortune had it that I was transferred back to Kingston. And that was where I remained for the rest of my time as a civil servant. Now, what happened after school? Hmm. After school, I Began, oh, I became active in my church. My father had advised me on my request, I'm going to live in Kingston now, what church should I attend? I don't know any church in Kingston. And he said to me, don't go to the big church, you might get lost. Go to the small church. And he said, Go to Brother Sawyer's, that's the words he used. Who is Brother Sawyer's? Brother Sawyer's was a well-respected, well-known minister of the Baptist Union. M.E.W. Sawyer's, who was stationed in Jonestown. Now, Jonestown then is not Jonestown now. Jonestown was the first subdivision of the city of Kingston, north of North Street. It was a sample town. I remember early in my court of ministry, I was a freelance evangelist. I was a Baptist. I was not commissioned by the Baptist to do the preaching. I was not commissioned by anybody. But I used to preach. Crusades. I was an evangelist, not a preacher. I remember preaching in those days in what was known as the Presbyterian Church. And that church had a number of outlets. One was in West Kingston, one was in Kingston Gardens, and so on. There was one in on Halfway Tree Road that did not have the beautiful building they have now, so we had to evangelize and preach and perform in a hall. 
things have migrated, things have improved and so on. Well, how did America, how did they become a pastor? That was not my choice. I said my father was a Baptist minister. He had four sons. The first boy had no interest in ministry. He was a vocalist. The second boy, like myself, was a civil servant. The third boy, that's me, civil servant, and the fourth boy went straight into ministry. After finding myself doing evangelism, I became attached to different groups, Christian groups. And to my surprise, they were almost adopting me. That gave me the opportunity to share my testimony, share my beliefs, express myself. Wednesday, I'm going to have a brunch, a, like a replica of what we had with that Thursday before we got married. So I'm having a brunch where I've invited his children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren now to come. So um, it's not just a brunch. It's one that we're going to have the place decorated, have all the balloons, everything, a uh, hundred. I, we're going to have that kind of thing. So he's going to have a big brunch, a birthday brunch, a hundred year old birthday brunch. He's going to have that. Um, I have no idea else what is happening for the rest of the day. I think I'm going to have to have something with my grandchildren because most they are at school. So, um, but the cake would have been cut already, but at least uh, they'll have to come over for cake and, and that kind of thing. Um, the family is going to have a dinner for him at a hotel on the Friday. And then on the Sunday the 17th, there is going to be this big thing at the um, Boulevard Baptist Church where all the churches and we're going to have a dedicated service for him in the evening starts at five o'clock and maybe run for about two hours we have a little tributes and songs and calabars choir is going to sing and little, little things like that so he's going to have three days of big celebration whatever else is i don't know but i know his children from abroad and grandchild grandchildren and great grand and um, his sister, he has one sister who is about 12 years younger and she would accompany with her children and a lot of persons from Tarot will be flying down. You know, who live in the States, they have a close, but we've started already, you know. We have people who have jumped in to say, we, uh, we have things to do, we are going to be abroad, we will not be here for the Sunday um, service. And then we had some persons from Tarrant who came by and they came with a big pot of soup and we sat and we ate and we had a wonderful time. And after that, we had breaking up bread. They were there for about four hours. I'm not an excitable person. So I don't expect people to be excited. I, <laughs> I used to be called a cool guy, so I tried to be a cool guy. <laughs> but um, I appreciate the efforts that have made. And I at least have to show appreciation and express appreciation. I didn't expect to live this long. I have, I've looked back on ex escapades incidents in my journey and I could have been <clears throat> I could have been killed I could have taken over his life more than once so I had nothing to do with the fact that I'm, on, I'm approaching 100 years old it's more than I expected God has been it's all God's doing